Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the following question and the question says state the cardinal number of the following sets. Part 1 A is equal to letters of the word clock. Part 2 colors of a rainbow. Part 3 N is equal to months having 35 days. Part 4, set A is equal to the set containing the words French, Spanish, Japanese, English. Part 5, P is equal to the set containing X such that X is equal to N cube where N belongs to N that is the set of natural numbers. N is less than equal to 5. Before we start solving the question, let us see what is cardinal number of a set? Cardinal number of a set A is the number of distinct elements of the set and it is denoted by N of A. This is our key idea for this question and using this key idea we will solve the question. Let's start the solution now. In part 1 we are given set A is equal to letters of the word clock. So in part 1 we have A is equal to letters of the word Clock. Now we have to find the cardinal number of the set A and using the key idea we have cardinal number of the set A is the number of distinct elements of the set. Now the distinct letters of the word clock are C, L, O, K. So the set A can be written in roster form as the set containing the elements C, L, O, K. We can see that the set A contains four elements. So the number of elements of the set A is 4. Therefore, the cardinal number of A that is N of A is equal to 4. So this is our answer for part 1. We will now move on to part 2. In part 2 we have colors of the rainbow. We know that there are seven colors in a rainbow. So there are seven elements in the given set. Therefore, the cardinal number of the set is equal to 7. This is our answer for part 2. Now in part 3 we have M is equal to months having 35 days. So for part 3 
n is equal to months having thirty five days. Now we know that there is no such month having thirty five days. Therefore, the set M has no elements. Which implies the cardinal number of m, that is, m of m, is equal to zero. This completes our part three. We now move on to part four. Part four is set A is equal to the set containing the words French, Spanish, Japanese, English. We can see that set A contains four words. So the number of elements of the set A is equal to four. Therefore, the cardinal number of A, that is, n of A, is equal to four. This is our answer for part four. We now move on to part five. In part five, P is equal to this set. That is, P is equal to the set containing x such that x is equal to n cube, where n belongs to n, which is the set of natural numbers, and n is less than equal to five. So set P contains the cubes of all natural numbers which are less than or equal to five. We will now write down the elements of the set P. The elements of the set P are. One cube, which is equal to one. Two cube, which is equal to eight. Three cube, which is equal to twenty-seven. Four cube, which is equal to sixty-four. And five cube, which is equal to one twenty-five. Let's now write down set P in raster form. So the set P is equal to the set containing the elements one, eight, twenty-seven, sixty-four, one, twenty-five. We can see that the set P contains five elements. The number of elements. Of the set P is equal to five. Therefore, the cardinal number of the set P, that is, n of P, is equal to five. This is our answer for part five. With this, we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.